the fatality of the globe and the capacity of our laboratories. Hello and welcome to Makala Foresight. And this is Mikhail Mnase, producer and host of the show. The people of Tigray and also the various political parties contesting in the upcoming regional elections in Tigray have opted to exercise their right to self-determination while at the same time protecting themselves from the spread of COVID-19. All the stakeholders in the region are speaking with one voice that COVID-19 should not be a pretext to either cancel or postpone the elections. With me here today is Dr. Hagos Godify, who is head of the Tigray Region Health Bureau, to tell us how this is being done in Tigray. Thank you for coming to the show, Dr. Hagos My pleasure. Thank you very much. So what strategies have you put in place to fight COVID-19? From the beginning, uh, the Tigray government has uh, decided to apply the WHO recommendations. And uh, before the federal government, uh, we have uh, declared a state of emergency. And we established also different committees, like command post, task force, Secretariat and think tank group who are like supporting the the government. So based on that, we have been like trying to implement different interventions. The first intervention was uh, like the the WHO recommendations, like uh, creating awareness among our people. And uh, we uh, visited more than 1.4 million households in Tigray. The aim of the visit was like to create awareness among our people and to look at their preparedness towards uh, addressing, mitigating the virus. The second important thing is, you know, uh, we have been preparing documents, different documents, so are like uh, important to our intervention. One of the most important documents is like a document which is helpful to prevent COVID during election. Uh, the, the document was like prepared by the JSTS group, the Global Society of Tigray scholars, who are like living in different parts of the globe. And we were like trying to collect some important information from different countries, from Europe, Asia, and Africa. Uh, and uh, this was like discussed uh, with uh, respective uh, zones, waradas, and uh, Taba leaders, and with the commission as well. Uh, the other important thing is like enhancing the capacity of the laboratory centers. Yet we have established about five laboratory centers in Tigray, and we are also working now to establish another center in uh, Adigrat. For sure, uh, by next week we will we'll inaugurate. And in the coming two weeks in Shire, so we'll have like uh, laboratory, molecular laboratory centers in some of the zones in the entire region. Uh, the other important thing is like mask utilization. We declared to use our people uh, mask, universal masking. Uh, even though there are some uh, gaps, this is among uh, some of the interventions we have been uh, doing. Are you successful so far in this endeavor? Yeah, sure. You know, uh, yet we have more than 4,300 cases in Tigray. 53% of them are like from quarantine. Uh, the rest contact us and from the community. Uh, by doing this, we are like preventing our people. The case fatality rate of uh, the disease in Tigray and in the, in the country has a a big difference, by the way. It's not comparable. When you look at the case fatality of the globe, uh, it's like 3.3%. When it comes to at country level, it's 1.6%. Uh, when it comes to, to, to our region, to Tigray, less than 0.5%. So the case, this is because, you know, uh, we are trying to reduce the infection rate because of uh, those important interventions like awareness creation, mask utilization, laboratory testing, contact tracing, quarantine. Uh, by doing this, we are like reducing the rate of infection. Uh, but still, there are 
uh, many important things which we need to, to do a lot. But yet, we are in a good position. The federal government has based its decision to postpone the elections due to public uh, health safety fears due to COVID-19. Do you see any rationale in this? This is the wrong decision, by the way. In the first place, election is one of the pillars of democracy. We struggled to bring a democracy in our society. So uh, there are different countries, by, by the way, who are like uh, doing, who do it like election, even though there are a high number of uh, corona cases. Uh, you, can, you can take an example like France, like uh, Germany, there are different countries. The in US. US. US is also prepared to, to do the election. So there are many, many countries. In Africa, Malawi, Guinea, uh, Benin, Zimbabwe, the like. But when it comes to Ethiopia, it was decided earlier, by the way, even uh, when the, the, the coronavirus was, was very, very minimal. It was decided earlier. And the intention is not because of the coronavirus, by the way. The intention is because of the uh, power struggle. The, the regime in Addis Ababa is like he, he wants to stay long without election. He was like uh, propag propagating so many times with medias even. So this is, not, this is beyond uh, COVID prevention. So when it comes to Tigray, there is no any reason. We have paid lives, by the way, to bring about democracy. That's why we are like doing this. It's the right of the people to choose. It's leadership. From uh, when, when it comes to the constitution, the regional and the government uh, should be conduct an election every five years. After September, there, there will not be a legal mandate of the, the government. So for the reason we are like uh, doing our election, at the same time, we are also uh, protecting our lives, our people from COVID. So this is not a big deal. The, the different countries are like experiencing this, uh, uh, this uh, situation. So when it comes to Ethiopia, even the, the case load is very, it's not very high. The case load is also in Addis Ababa. It's not like in different uh, regions. When it comes to Tigray, the, the case load is in, mainly in, in Makale. We were like tr trying to look at, by the way, the different towns in, in the country. The infection rate is less than 3%. It's very low. So in this case, doing election is not a problem. So this is not the, the, uh, basically the, the intention of like, uh, not postponing the, the election at the government level. At, uh, this is because of the interest of the, the regime in Addis Ababa. Media campaigns have been going on, particularly in the towns, uh, mainly. Yeah. So uh, there are some critics who say that the rural population has not been reached. Yeah, basically, when we are like uh, thinking of doing this election, we were trying to develop the document uh, to address in a comprehensive way, like from registration, like debate, and uh, voting. So when you look at the, the two of the, the important components, the registration was like done perfectly, I can tell you. It was like, be, uh, it was like implemented based on the guideline we prepared earlier. In some areas there were gaps, in fact, in social distancing, uh, some of the people are like coming with, without pain and, and the like, but uh, the majority it was like addressed in a, in a proper way. The second important thing is while, like, while the, the parties are like uh, doing their debates, uh, they, we are not allowing to have a big gather because of COVID. But uh, to address the rural community, one of the, the options was like to use radio, not television only, by the way. So the accessibility of the, the radio in the Integra is, is uh, almost 70-80%. So uh, many rural communities were like communicated to, to, to follow um, uh, using radios, the debates using radios. So this, this is one of the, um, uh, the things what we, we were like discussing while we were preparing the, the, the document. 
as, as you said, um, they might not have chance to get like the telev debate on television and, and the like. But majority of them uh, have access to, to, to radio, and uh, this was one of the, the options we were like, considering while preparing the document. How have you been carrying out the tests, uh, the coronavirus tests, for journalists and observers coming here to observe and monitor the elections? Yeah, in fact, uh, majority, uh, some of the observers and the journalists are like arrived yesterday, and today uh, there are uh, also some journalists coming from abroad. For those who arrived yesterday, uh, we already uh, provide the result within 24 hours, by the way, less than 24 hours. So for those who are like uh, interested to come, uh, we, we don't want to, uh, to stay like long in the quarantine. We will send them, we, we will finish everything within 24 hours. So uh, today, you know, one of the journalists sent me a text message and he told me, my result arrived in speed of light. <laughs> so we are like delivering properly. And uh, we, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, I'm uh, following it seriously. So uh, not only for the journalists and observers, by the way, for, for the other people, interested group who want us to see the election in Tigray, they are most welcome and we will support, we will uh, finish each and every uh, uh, procedure within, within 24 hours. What plans do you have to replicate this speed of light efficiency and deliver it among the rest of the population? The important thing what we are like uh, doing now is like to boost or to enhance the capacity of our laboratories. As I was trying to mention earlier, uh, we, when we were like starting the laboratory test, we started here in Magala. First, we were like sending samples to Addis Ababa, then in, in Magala. Then we have now, uh, our plan is to reach like to all zones. So we, we already finished like in uh, five zones, and we are like working towards uh, addressing the, the rest two zones in the coming two weeks. So while, when we were like, um, it's not only by the way, establishing the, the laboratory center, who uh, increases the, uh, the, the productivity. It's also within the laboratory, we are also introducing initiatives. There are different initiatives who increases the production of uh, laboratory results within the centers, within the existing uh, centers as well. So uh, the, our plan is like to, uh, to deliver uh, 3,000 results every day. Uh, so within um, 24 hours, 24 up to 48 hours. So we are working hard to achieve this one. And this is an, uh, one of the experiences now learned from, uh, from the laboratories. So for sure we will make it happen in the coming one week. So uh, the voting day is drawing near. So is there any special arrangement not to contribute to the spread of the virus? In fact, it's not only uh, a threat, by the way, it's an opportunity as well. Mm. We are like, um, we have assigned two health professionals for every pool station. We have about 2,700 pool stations. And we have assigned two uh, health professionals each, and some of them up to three. So our plan is not uh, to follow uh, the, the guideline only, by the way. At the same time, we are also planning to educate and to, especially for the farmers. You know, we, we want to demonstrate how to, to do mask, how to use mask, mask utilization as well. When you are like um, uh, going for the election, first you have to wash your hand. It's already prepared, by the way. In every police station, there is hand washing and sanitizer at the same time. So we will. Um, uh, we will lead our farmers to demonstrate while doing the, the election and the voting at the same time. Then after they vote, they have also, for second time, there is also uh, a hand washing. The hand washing is like before and after the, the election, voting. the voting. The second important thing is, you know, they will get education. The health professionals will uh, tell them the, the importance of like preventing COVID. For the reason, this is not a threat for us, by the way. It's a good opportunity even to transfer the, the knowledge of COVID prevention and, 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 and uh, the like.
it seems that COVID-19 will live with us for some time to come. So what strategies are you putting in place to prevent it sustainably? Very important idea. Uh, basically, based on the WHO, uh, a bit it, will, it, it will stay like for, uh, for years. So uh, considering this, we are like working to, to establish a system, not like what we are like doing now. Uh, you know, the last five years, uh, the, the last five months, it was like a, a learning stage for us, by the way. We are like learning from, from what we are like doing. But from now, we just wanted to establish a system uh, like what we did in the HIV uh, AIDS prevention and control. It was started like this, by the way. Then finally, established like a secretariat and then the like. So we are like thinking of uh, establishing a system, be it a secretariat or uh, uh, a different institution under the regional gov government. So we are working on that. Then based on that, we will we'll, um, we'll have its, it will have its own institution, which follows uh, each and every activity. And uh, uh, this is the only solution, by the way. Uh, otherwise, uh, discussing two times every week. The, the, the president is by the, the president is with uh, the, the president and the vice presidents are like almost uh, sitting two times per week to evaluate in this COVID, by the way. So it's, it's really time consuming. It's very hard also to, 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 to do the same way. For the reason we are like thinking of to have a separate uh, secretariat and an institution which follows regularly until the COVID pre uh, prevention and control, until uh, uh, we get like vaccines or until we reduce to lower level. Dr. Hagos Godify, thank you very much indeed for this very informative and interesting conversation. Thank you very much, Mickey. Well, we have come to the end of the interview. Until we meet in my next edition, this is goodbye from me and the technical crew.